excuse me, little dog. Mm, hi, guys. What a difference a day makes. We are have stumbled into a dark, gloomy, gray, depressing Sunday in the collapse. It is Sunday morning coming down over planet Earth. That would be Sunday, September 17th. 2023. Uh, so I understand there's some sort of big march going on in New York City starting I think at about 10 minutes guys and uh, I guess all over the world we are having climate marches. The uh, young apocalyptimist inheriting the mess that we made of this planet are getting out there and demanding action. They are demanding action. I'm a little unclear exactly what action they are demanding and who they are demanding action from. Uh, I've, I've read like 50 articles now and, and other than some vague stop fossil fuels, just stop fossil fuels and declare a climate emergency. There you go. Uh, so if the politicians will step up to the plate and, and declare a climate emergency, and if the fossil fuel corporations that own the governments to make the climate emergency just stop, yes, just stop fossil fuels, all of these young climate apocalyptimists can go right on about their business. You know, planning to figure out how they're going to have two million dollars uh, when they retire in 40 years from now. How? Uh, okay, we got the politicians to declare the climate emergency and we convinced ExxonMobil to stop drilling for oil. So we've crossed those two off our list. So now we're going to start figuring out how to have two million dollars when we retire, I don't know, in the year 2060, maybe. So anyway, guys, I, I, I was, you know, I was going to read some of these articles and, and I was going to sit here and make my snarky, snide, and quite hilarious Doomer comments to these throngs of young apocalyptimists uh, figuring out their action plan to save the planet and their privileged lifestyles at the same time. But you know, it's it, it, sometimes I think people think that doomers like being Debbie Downers. So you know, guys, if it helps you to sleep at night, to go waving some sign down some uh, trash-strewn New York City street, uh, you know, talking about how we're going to turn this freight train around. It, 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 go ahead and do it. I, I, I just have this little inconvenient message, so I'm going to trim this rant way down because I want to come back with uh, actually an 18 month old essay that I found this morning for my doomsday sermon, which is going to elaborate a lot on uh, what I'm on my message to climate marchers. Uh, so let me cut to the chase. You know, you're going to hear a lot of what we need to do is going to, you're going to see a whole lot of this shit in the mainstream media about what we need to do. Nowhere in all of this barrage of articles and interviews with these young climate activists are you going to hear 
what we need to do is keep our peckers in our pants and not to let our knickers down. Not breeding is going to be nowhere in the discussion. So you're not going to hear that one, but you are going to hear all of the other usual slew of what we need to do to save this planet in the year 2023, you know, without inconveniencing ourselves and threatening our two million dollar retirement accounts in, in in the year 2060 that this whole we need to crap whenever you see this it, it what it is and, and even doomers well at least apocaloptimists i don't know if a real doomer would resort to this default of what we need to do. Uh, so I guess it's apocaloptimist. Uh, now, th th this bullshit of what we need to do. Uh, th this no shit Sherlock list of what we need to do. All it is, is the newest brand of hopium. It, it, it is unadulterated hopium horse shit that belongs right directly in the hopium, uh, well, I would say landfill, not just a garbage can. And, and, and I'm talking about even the things that we need to do, number one on the list, to stop breeding. And like any other of these hopium things, whenever you see the words, we need to, you can automatically say, ain't gonna happen. What anything that, that we need to do to turn this freight train around ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. We won't do it. Uh, and, and this young uh, generation of these climate alarmists, the Greta Thunberg uh, generation, are, you know, who were born with these little uh, smartphones in their hands, ruling their lives. Uh, there, there is no way in hell that this generation is going to do a goddamn thing uh, to turn this freight train around. And I'm only going, so I won't just go into a complete broken record rant. There's two major reasons. Well, there's a hundred. I'm, I'm just going. I'm just going to choose two of the major reasons because, again, it's going to be elaborated on in this excellent essay. I'm coming back here in a minute with uh, number one is the the nefarious, infamous they, the they otherwise known as the global corporatocracy or the planet eaters uh, and the politicians in their pockets, uh, the, the military industrial complex, whatever you want to call the, the little blue meanies out there destroying the planet. If, if these climate protesters think the very people who are responsible for this mess are the ones who are going to fix the mess they caused. You're, you're talking out your ass. Ain't gonna happen. Uh, you know, as Exxon uh, uh, said just this week, that in the year 2050, that fossil fuels are still going to be more than 50% of the energy mix. The only way uh, these planet eaters are going to respond to the frying pan of fossil fuels is to create the uh, fire of this bullshit renewable energy. It's no longer the frying pan or the fire it's the frying pan and the fire. Okay. 
forget this either or. It is both and. The, the global corporatocracy is pulling out all of the stops to go right on about their business doing what they do, which is destroying this planet. So that's number one. Ain't ever going to happen that they are, are going to stop. But more importantly, again, as we will touch on in this essay, and I have been saying for years, the reason that there is no chance of this is because we, and this sure is shit, and includes 99.9% .9 of these climate protesters, are not prepared in any way, shape, or form to make the individual sacrifices in their own personal uh, lifestyle and consumer choices necessary to confront the level of the scale of this tsunami uh, heading our way. Uh, you know, look at Derma, Libya, if you want to see a snapshot uh, of this civilization and this planet. Uh, because the, the, it is the nefarious we, and I keep harking back, have been doing it for years, to my number one favorite <clears throat> um, scene out of Atlas Shrugged from 1957. My number one favorite scene in that whole book is where this planet-eating industrialist and this little lefty, greeny, snowflake professor are having this debate, uh, I think, in the professor's office. And this little lefty snowflake is chewing out uh, the, uh, the planet-eating industrialist in 1957. Uh, and uh, the blue meanie planet eater laughs in the guy's face saying there is one way and one way only to put us out of business. And that is to stop buying our products. We could put these sons of bitches out of business in one day if we would stop buying their products. It wasn't going to happen in 1957. It sure as shit is not going to happen today. These planet eaters know it. Uh, every single one of us is bringing this planet down. You can blame it on uh, these blue meanies at Exxon tell you're blue in the face. Okay? It is every one of us. Is it the dog wagging the tail or is it the tail wagging the dog? This is the tail. This is the tail wagging the dog. This is the chickens guarding the fox house. It is us clueless moron consumer little chickens keeping the foxes in power by our consumer and lifestyle choices, period. But anyway, I wish all of these little young Greta Thunberg clones good luck <clears throat> waving their little signs around, getting their climate emergency declared. And I sure as shit wish them luck in stopping fossil fuels because, as I say, if we just stop oil, we will see minimally half the planet starve to death in the next six months. Probably, certainly within a year, the population of this planet, if we stopped using fossil fuels, would be 
where it was for 200,000 years before we started using fossil fuels, which is one billion or fewer people. Living lifestyles a hell of a lot more Spartan uh, than 99.9% .9 of these little clueless moron climate protesters. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up now because the three day sale at Tractor Supply Corporation is ending today. And I need to get uh, to Tractor Supply to do some shopping while I still can. But before I go, we're going to, uh, I'm going to read a long doomsday sermon. And, and I'm having a senior moment. Can't even remember the name of the fellow who wrote it. But uh, everything I just said is going to be elaborated upon in this excellent doomsday sermon coming up in one minute. This little dog, or is your tail wagging you? Bye, guys.